welcome to Monterey's Cooking. I'm John Pisto, and this is my grandson, Johnny. Hey, John. Hi. Okay, we're in Ketchikan, Alaska, believe it or not. And John, they say there's a lot of big bald eagles around here. Have you used, have you seen any yet? Not yet, except that one. Oh, that, which one? <laughs> we're supposed to say that. <laughs> Look who I found. I've been walking around Ketchikan and I ran into my buddy Paula. Remember I talked to you about her before. She came to Monterey, her and her friend Christy, and she owns this bar in Ketchikan, and here it is. The Arctic Bar. We were established Man. in 1937. We're almost 70 years old. John Pisto, welcome to Ketchikan. Uh -huh, We've been waiting for you. We're gonna have a big party. Now, now we have some. They they made some plans on Saturday, on Saturday, right? Yep. So what are you guys gonna do? Catch a can's gonna be cooking pisto style, July twenty fourth, two thousand four. <laughs> We're having a party. We it's by invitation only. We're gonna be setting up out on the deck. John's gonna be cooking Whoop. salmon and halibut. And, yep. Whoop. It's gonna be good. Okay. <laughs> now, tomorrow we're gonna go fishing, but that's another story. Uh, Paula, why don't you take us in the bar? Now okay. I hear you really got a bar. Folks, got... this is a real bar. Yep, the oldest right? bar in town. Okay, let's check it's it out. Home of the Happy Bears, come on. Okay, come on, Paula. Come on, John, come on wow, in. Look Here this. we go. This is the Arctic Bar, welcome. <laughs> look at this place, it's amazing. Sarah's behind the bar. Now what's, what's this thing over here? That's the bell in most Southeast Alaska bars, there will be a bell. If you ring the bell, it's around for the house. Ring the bell, baby, ring the bell. <laughs> how do you find her out? How do you, I don't Go know. Go ahead, get in there, it's okay, the bell moves. Just, just rip it up. Thank you very much, honey. Right. So you can meet some of my friends, Jesus. some of the local yokels. Man alive. Now these are all your friends? These are my these friends. These are some of your yeah. friends. Yes. Okay, why don't you introduce is, them? This is <laughs> Bill. These are her bestest friends. This is the best friends. All right. This is Bill Williams. B Bill, how are you, Billy? Nice her to meet you. We hope the next governor great for the great state of Alaska. God bless you. That's, That's what we'd like. Bless. This is Mary Lou. Mary Lou? Nice. What a pleasure. This is my boyfriend, Randy Woods. Yes, sir. How are you? He's really the reason why I got, you know, started watching the show and oh, started no tuning in. Yeah, he wow. is a probably the number one fan. All He's right. Good, well, thank yeah. you, Billy. Wow. This is Rachel. Rachel, how are you, darling? Nice to meet you. Uh, what a pleasure. This is my yes. number one bartender, Jeff. Jeff, how are John you? John Pisto. Hey, 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 hey. And of course, you know Christy O. Yes, Christy O, the one and only. World traveler yes. and thrill seeker. That's it. And it's going to get better in about yeah, an hour, yeah. folks. <laughs> we keep ringing that bell, it's going to keep getting better. I'm John just rang the bell. How cool. Yes. Good job, John. Round for the house. Folks, I want to introduce you to Christy. This is a friend of uh, Carla's. And, um, very interesting thing. I noticed when we came in, well, first of all, she's from Skagway. I live in Skagway now, and yes. And you have a bar. The Red Onion Saloon. I managed the Red Onion Saloon. It was uh, from the Gold Rush days. It was built in 1897. It was a brothel originally. And the, the Red Onion name actually represents uh, a woman who is tightly corseted. So that's where the name Red Onion really comes from. So it's a nice. great place to be. Nice. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> now, you know, I, I've noticed that you have in this in this area right now along the waterfront sure. about five big ocean liners now you know in monterey they had a controversy going there about ocean liners polluting and uh, not being a very good uh, source of uh, income and, and just being real negative i mean the, how does everyone feel about these, these, these? Uh, mr pisto the tourism industry is so good to southeast alaska I can't even emphasize what we do without them. You know, in the many past years, we've lost so much uh, fishing, so much logging. We had to get a whole new mindset to create a whole new yeah. income for us. And there's the argument that uh, it's only seasonal work for some people and that sort of thing, but the income is horrendous. And um, I know the money just trickles downhill all the time. And there are some people in Southeast who still aren't happy with the cruise industry. They feel they're being invaded by yeah. other people. 
every year um, tourism grows. We have more and more passengers every year. The ships get bigger. There's more people. They all drop dollars wherever they go. They're all. Uh, this is for you folks. It's a uh, what five month industry. It's, it's May. About, yeah. First of May to the end of September is the, the cruise so, season in Southeast Alaska. So it's like you're having your salmon season all over again. Yeah, and, absolutely. I mean, the gold, uh, or the, the gold's in the hills. The gold rush, you got, man. You got There's five gold months. in them our hills, baby. You, you got five yeah. months to get it, and that's it. And then everybody relax. I mean, it's great to see it. The town it's, is vibrant. Everybody's happy. The, I mean, it's a it's very huge. positive, it's, it's positive It's huge. Thing. The amount of people who travel you know, to Southeast Alaska is yeah, huge, especially just, after 9-11. Yeah. People didn't want to travel, you know, out of the country. And Beautiful trickle-down effect. I mean, bartenders working, kids working, everybody's working. That's incredible. Well, I'm glad. It's, it's a okay. very good business to be in. You get a chance, folks. Get your can Alaska. It is a fun, fun, fun place. It's I a great you. place. Yep. Okay. We'll be right back. If you're just joining us, folks, this show is all about Ketchikan, Alaska, and some of my new friends. Now, you know, we talked about those cruise ships. That cruise ship industry has absolutely revitalized that place. I mean, it's a, the action there was amazing. It was just amazing. It was a savior for them. So, hey, folks, I think maybe you should take, we should take a look at it here. Um, the prominent fish in that area are salmon and halibut. Now, we brought some back, and I know salmon and halibut are also very prominent here, actually anywhere in the United States. Um, so that's what I'm using. In fact, this is some of the halibut that we're, I brought back. And this is silver salmon. Now, silver salmon has a tendency to cook up a little bit on the, on the dry side. So you know what? I'm going to show you how to make a pasta with it. Very simple. Like all the stuff I do, real, real simple. So we're going to dice some onion. Nice big dice. And we're going to make it a little on the spicy side this time because uh, it's what I feel like doing today, folks. We're going to give it some garlic. Let's give it a little olive oil first. You know, it's nice about halibut. Everybody's gonna like it because it's such a mild fish. And, uh, and salmon too. Now you know, if I should talk about the omega-3s and just how good these, these fish are for you. Um, later on we, we went up to another spot. Those are some other shows where we did uh, some shows with Andrew, uh, Andrew Weil. And boy, do we get into uh, talking about seafood there and catching more. Okay, uh, okay, we're doing onion, garlic, good amount of garlic. And I'm going to put some smoked, good quality bacon. This is kind of a, a kickoff on a, remember we did some cooking with Paul Prudhomme and um, he did some of this kind of, kind of like this a bit. With the bacon and the, and I'm using my sensational seasoning. Okay, we'll put some of that. We'll turn up the heat now. And I'm gonna put some parsley. This is how we do the parsley. Just group it up. Chop it. Like this, like this. Okay. This is pretty easy, right? Onion, garlic, parsley, good quality bacon. And I want this a little on the sharp side, so I'm going to put some shallots too. That'll add some some new flavor to this. Um, but boy, did you see the my the eyes of my grandson? Boy, was he excited up there! God, he just had a ball. That boy, give him a fishing pole in his hand, and he's the happiest kid in the world. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes. 
let it cook a bit, okay? Before we get ver too far along. Don't forget the bell pepper. And some celery. So I tell you, boy, if you want to fish your little hearts out, that's the place to go. I had no idea oh, Man, the fishing like was so good there. I mean, that was absolutely eye-opening to me. Okay, so this is going to take a few minutes. Okay, you see how this is softened up a bit? Now I'm going to put about a half a cup of vermouth, dry vermouth, or white wine. And now we're going to dice up the fish. Now this is the time if there's any bones in here, you pull them out. You can do that like this with your hand. See, there's a bone right there. See? And you just pull them right up. Now I got an easier way to do that is you just cut right alongside and you cut right alongside there. And that goes right in the garbage. Okay, so we're gonna do, put this on low Okay, let's dice the salmon. So, you know, the fishing, you know, the, the next day we went fishing. And uh, now some people like to cut this off because it's a little fishy. You know, this is the bloodline. And, uh, whoops. Uh, doesn't give you that real strong fishy flavor. Now this is going to cook up real firm. This is this is the uh, that uh, the coho or the silver salmon. And this has been frozen. This is stuff we brought back with us. Nice combination. I mean, you can do a million. We made tacos out of this using this fish. It was delicious. You could make omelets. You could, uh, fish and chips is probably the best. Because uh, it's a nice, such a nice firm fish. But I'm trying to uh, stay away from fried foods a bit. Okay, let's cut some more. I think that's going to be enough. Boy, look at that. I mean, just like a piece of meat. Now let's carefully. Okay, now I want to add a few tomatoes, which I'm going to squash up with my hand, and a little of the juice. Not too much, just enough to give it that nice, nice flavor I'm looking for. Okay, now we're going to remove this and let's let this cook real good. This is going to take, we just want to take, take this to the point where it's cooked. Now if it needs more liquid, this is what I want you to do. I want you to add a little bit of water like that or you can do fish stock. Let's add the pepper. Fresh ground. Let's add a little bit more of this. That's a crushed red pepper. Let's add a little bit more sensational. Okay, this is gonna take five, ten minutes. Five, about seven minutes. Okay, look at this. See that? Mmm, -hmm. it's cooked. See that? That was the halibut. Mmm. Wow. Okay, now, pasta, salt. Oh, I put salt in already. Angel hair pasta, stay right on it, folks. Don't leave. Pasta, you got to figure one pound, four people, big eater. Regular eater, go five, six to a pound. The secret in Italy, 
small portion. Eat pasta every day, twice a day, but small portion. That's the secret. If you love pasta, I, this is incredible. This got spicy to it. It's got these great flavors. This would be good with chicken. Okay, look how nice this is going to cook up. And this cooks real fast. Woo! Almost done. It's amazing how well this freezes up. The fish freezes just very, of course, you know, it's vacuum packed. I wish I had a, one I can show you. Um, I think I do have one. And it's, um, it's so well done. Look at this. I mean, this, I mean, you know, when it's vacuum packed like this, it's got a hell of a shelf life. I mean, it could last, you know, a good year. But right, you keep your refrigerator, your freezer's nice and cold. But look at that, I mean, that's beautiful, heavy duty. You guys did a nice job. Okay, pasta. Bet you it's done already. Looks like Chinese noodle. Okay, you gotta move fast. That's done. Now, because this is fresh pasta, I'm gonna put some oil in there because I want it to kind of stop cooking. All right. All right. Like this. Like this. Mmm. This is good enough to eat just with just with the uh, oil on it. Okay. And we spoon that on like this. Don't be shy. Well, this is, like I said, fresh pasta. I'm just doing that because when I was shopping today, I said, you know, let's do something with fresh pasta. I don't know if people have seen me cook with fresh. I always use dried. Okay, now, to finish this off, this is what I would do. Let's get this out of the way. Just like, I tell you, when we do that big cooking, uh, when we do the big thing for the, the big dinner for the, for the uh, golf tournament this year, guess what they're getting? They're getting this. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, this I guarantee you're gonna love. And if it's a little juicy, it's okay. What'll happen, the, the pasta will absorb the water and it'll, the sauce will be just right. You want it with capolini, you always want it juicy. Okay, this is the spicy one. Now, for those of you that are purists and you wanna taste nothing but the straight, pure fish. Okay, this is the recipe for you. I learned this one in Sicily. All right, what I made is water, wine, parsley, garlic, um, uh, carrots and celery, okay? Cook it two minutes. Drop the fish in there, all right? And we're gonna gently poach that. Don't make it come to a boil, your fish will fall apart on you. All right, just gonna let that cook very nice and gently. Simple, this is the most simple, simple recipe in the world. This is the sauce. Straight olive oil, folks, that's right. Straight olive oil oregano and I brought this back from Sicily with me too okay release the juice see it okay straight oregano a little bit of salt a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and one garlic clove chopped and then and then Fresh parsley. And you know what? I need a little bit more oil. Okay, that's it. All we need now is the fish to cook.
That's all. It's going to take another couple minutes. I'm going to show you something you won't believe. Okay, here you have it. Look at this. Look how easy this is, folks. Look at this. This, this, and a little bit of this. And then you eat it with this. Fresh olive oil. I mean, not cooked, nothing. Parsley, garlic, oregano. That's it. I will guarantee you. And then lemon on the side. It's the best. It's from Alaska. It's, it's the freshest, the most delicious seafood in the world, other than Monterey. <laughs> okay, here you have it. Simple, simple, incredibly delicious. I hope you enjoyed it. We got many more shows coming to you from Alaska. So stay tuned. See you next time.